Hey there, Jonas Box Monkey here, and today I'm going to be reviewing another ukulele, which I got for free in the mail. It's another cheap ukulele from the same company, which is called Gear Best. And uh, I'm happy to be reviewing it because I like cheap ukuleles. And at the end of the video, I will be giving away a free ukulele to somebody in the street, which is the ukulele that I used in my last review. You might recognize it. So I'm giving it away because I have uh, this extra ukulele and it'll be more useful to somebody else. Um, and I'll be playing a little game. This is the first time I do ukulele giveaway, so for next time, you guys can tell me in the comments how you want me to, to give a ukulele away. There are many games we could play. Who do you want me to give it to? So, let's start with the most important things. It looks like watermelon. Now that's one thing you can't beat. That's pretty cool. I've never had a ukulele that looked quite as much uh, like a watermelon. So, I've got to give them that. Now, let's see how it sounds. This is how it came in the box. This is how it is tuned. So, of course, the first thing you'd like to do is to tune it, but no. There's one thing that's funner than tuning a ukulele. It's playing with an untuned ukulele and seeing what you can do with it. So, the tuning that the ukulele came in was very traditional A sharp, G sharp, B, D sharp tuning. A very complicated but very traditional tuning, I assure you. I'm sure you've heard it before. Somewhere? In some country? Maybe? No? Anyway, let's see what we can do with it without changing the tuning. I'm going to be comparing it to my other ukulele, which you know from my other videos. That way you can compare it and you can see which sound you prefer. I actually like this watermelon ukulele pretty much. So once you've gotten over the fact that what you're holding is in fact not a watermelon, but a ukulele, you can start to play it and see what it sounds like. Um, firstly, this ukulele is made entirely, is made of basswood, so it's made entirely of wood. Everything, which is pretty good. Uh, the tuning pegs are very stable, they don't come untuned, it'll stay tuned for a while. Um, it's made in China, of course. It has good fret action, which means, I mean, it's not, the, the, the strings aren't too high off the fretboard. They're pretty close, which is good because that means they don't wobble around. I've seen better, but I've seen a lot worse. So this is pretty good. There's no cutting parts. I mean, the wood, the metal here is very nice and smooth. Uh, no parts, no cutting parts or anything. So pretty good finish from this point of view. But there is one big problem about this ukulele. So this might just be mine. I might have gotten unlucky, but some of the strings, see it's tuned up now. This one especially. When you play downwards, it buzzes. And so I was wondering, why does this buzz? And I was looking, where is the source of this buzzing? And it's pretty obvious. Look, the soundboard is actually unglued a little bit here. It's unglued from the body. So that just, that can't work. It's a very simple, simple little problem though. So it's easy to solve. In fact, I've had a friend actually solve this by just putting tape on it. Just a big piece of tape and that's it. But might not be the, the, the first thing you want to do with a new, new ukulele. Yet, it's very cheap and it sounds pretty good actually and it looks very cool. So it might be worth it to buy this ukulele. You just um, need to, to, to repair it if, if yours has the same problem. So I'm going to try this and I'll tell you if it's how it sounds afterwards. So I'm back and I just put a piece of transparent tape on here, fat tape, 
and uh, there we go it's repaired it doesn't buzz anymore and it's as simple as that so uh, sorry this might not be the first thing you want to do with the ukulele but this is an honest review and this is what how it came you might be lucky it might not have this but if it does well you know it's just a piece of tape maybe it, it might be worth it because the ukulele costs 25 dollars only so and the piece of tape costs one cent and um, if you want to actually do it more professionally, you could just put a little bit of glue, wood glue, instead of this piece of tape, but I was too lazy for that. So let's try it out and see how it compares to the other one now that it works. I see you frown and it's like looking down the barrel of a gun and it goes off and out come all these words oh there's a very pleasant sight to you one that I much prefer it's one that laughs and jokes around remember cuddles in the kitchen we had to get things off the ground and it was up up and away oh but it's real hard to remember that I don't know when you're all argumentative, you got the face on. Laughs and jokes around Remember cuddles in the kitchen We had to get things off the ground And it was up, up and away Oh, but it's real hard to remember that On a day like today When you're all argumentative And you got the face on So one thing is obvious from these recordings, you saw, you noticed that the, this sound sounds very strong, resonates very nicely because since it's round like a watermelon, you actually have this big space here and this big, this big resonance space and this whole space you can hit anywhere and anywhere will sound good. Whereas on a ukulele with a more traditional shape like this one, well, it sounds less good because you have this small space here. It didn't sound like anything, really. And you have to go all the way here and hit here for it to start sounding a little bit good. So that's one big advantage of this watermelon shape. Who would have thought that it would actually bring anything for it to have a watermelon shape, but look at this. So I forgot to make a conclusion. Here's a conclusion a few hours later and I'm tired. It's late out night. But to sum it up, this ukulele is a good ukulele for this price. Really, um, it has a nice sound. I, I've never heard a ukulele with such a good sound at such a low price. You usually get really bad sounds. Uh, but you have to be ready to maybe tape it closed or to glue it. So have some tape ready. And if that's, if that's okay with you, then uh, take it. And with a nice big resonance chamber because of its nice watermelon shape. They also have it in a few other shapes. I mean, a few other designs like Kiwi and things like this. Anyway, I'll put a link to this, uh, to the website where you can buy this right under here. And uh, yeah, pretty good ukulele for what it is. Might be worth it. And uh, I know this website has a pretty expensive shipping costs to Europe. So probably the price will go up and it might not be worth it in Europe anymore. Up to you. But uh, the shipping prices are good in the US, just a few dollars. So 
definitely if you're in the US this is this is worth it and if you're in Europe it might be up to you depends if you really want a watermelon ukulele with a nice Flick, flick zone. So here we are in Geneva with my friend Flo who thinks I'm crazy because I'm talking to my camera. Here's the lake and here's a bunch of people for our first ukulele giveaway where um, we're going to give this ukulele to one person but we have to make sure that it's somebody who's interested in learning ukulele. So we have a little sign, so the person has to sing a song for us and if somebody sings a song for us then they get a free ukulele and a free ukulele lesson which I will give them at their house or wherever. We'll see if we find somebody. Okay, so Linda is here and she, she saw her sign and she actually wants to learn the ukulele. The song that I sing for kids. I'm a nanny so they will really like it. Great! Are you ready? <laughs> yes. I will have movements with it too. Perfect. Okay. That's even okay. better. Twee, ro, ro, pillen en een oerang, een twee hele kleine visjes en een grote adelaar, een kat, een muis, een olifant en niemand die ontbreekt. Alleen, je ziet de dinosaurus niet. Thank you. Yay! Great, well you get a free ukulele. Oh wow, that's Good. so awesome. This is for you. Thank you. I, I, I don't know how to play it, but... Uh... Well, I'll give you a lesson and that way, and then you can teach your children. Yeah, or you can I will, sing I with them. definitely take it with me. Wow, that's so fun. Wow, oh, that's so cool. Thank, thank you so much. <laughs> so here. Jonas? This is, yes. Thank you. Jonas. You thank said you. Linda. Yeah. yeah. For the next ukulele giveaway, I'll be giving away either this ukulele or another ukulele like this in the street. Uh, please let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas on how I should choose who I should give it to and how I should give it. Uh, that'll be fun. And if you like these videos and these reviews and these, this music, you can subscribe to my channel. Also, just below, just where the comments are, there's a subscribe button. It's free. So, yeah. Bye.